So as I'm in the summer of cane juice on all three of my YouTube channels, basically focusing on everything from Martinique, Guadeloupe, Mauritius, Madeira, those agricole style of rums, I thought it was only right that the tiki cocktail aspect of this that I rock out here Tuesdays on this channel kind of followed suit as well. So I've been searching for some agricole cocktails. We've got some belters coming up for you over the next few weeks. Uh, first up though is a kind of a famous cocktail, three dots in a dash. And Morse code for victory, essentially what that is. And the garnish is critical to kind of this as well. So no point serving up with a different garnish, otherwise it ceases to become the three dots in a dash. Um, but I kind of wanted to kind of, I, I haven't made it for a long while. I kind of wanted to see what it was all about, whether it's worth you guys making it and whether it's actually worth putting on cocktail menus. Because as I say, it is a famous cocktail. I see it quite a lot over the internet. I see it quite a lot on Instagram grids. And now if you follow hashtags like rum and rum cocktails, but I never actually see it or really see it on cocktail menus when you go out to bars. It's one of those kind of cocktails that's just kind of forgotten about. So have bars got it wrong? Should this cocktail be on a menu? Should you, if you're a bar, should you be serving this cocktail? Let's get on and make it and find out. So the two recipes I found for this, uh, both in, both pretty much identical uh, in the books that I've got. I kind of refer to the books. There's loads of different recipes online, but I kind of refer to the authorities. So it's in Smuggler's Cove as well. Martin Kate has done it and they, they serve it up in their bar, but it's actually in uh, Beach Bum Berry's Sipping Safari. And they are both identical uh, recipes. So that's what I'm going to follow here. I'll talk you through the ingredients ingredients in a second of my rum choices and you kind of notice I've restocked uh, the old pimento pimento dram and I've actually restocked I thought look if we're going to do it properly I know I've got a big love for mornings for learning but let's you know I know the vast majority 90% of you will kind of have uh, JD Taylor's velvet for learning so let's go with that so uh, we'll start off with the lime juice freshly squeezed lime juice at 15 ml half an ounce of that um, then we'll go orange juice, freshly squeezed, com com complete with bits, 15 mil, half an ounce of that. Let's put those down there, get this everything out of the way. Honey syrup, um, honey mix essentially, Eat two parts uh, two parts honey to one part hot water to make it kind of more runny honey. Uh, I've got money, uh, so we're going to kind of go for that. 15 mil, half an ounce of honey syrup, honey mix. It's in uh, Martin Kate tells you how to make it. Beach Bun Berry tells you how to make it. No dramas there. So we've got honey. If you like me, why bother? Just buy it in. Simple as anything. Now for learning. There is, like revisiting it, there is a bit of dip. Like the morning is a little bit thicker. I wouldn't say sweeter, but the thickness gives that illusion of it being thicker. But the morning is kind of a bit more feisty, a bit more sort of spicy if you like. And the ODK one is even more spicier than that. So this is kind of a dialed back, easy going kind of for learning if you like. So seven and a half mil of that, quarter of an ounce. I also wanted to try this in sort of like with tea ponches as well, a little bit crazy. Uh, so we'll leave that there. To there. Uh, all spice dram, I haven't had this for ages because I keep using uh, Elamakuli tiki bitters. I, I think they pretty much give the, the same sort of flavour, if I'm being brutally honest. But, you know, these recipes call for the, this is sort of an old school. Uh, this is pretty much the only real brand we get in the UK. I'm fully aware that there is another brand, uh, stateside US, um, Elizabeth, St. Elizabeth, something like that. But Pimento, um, Bitter Truth Pimento Dram is pretty much the go-to in the UK and in Europe's German brand. So, uh, seven and a the aromas, hoo -hoo. seven and a half mil of pimento, it's a bit too much, of pimento dram, perfect, there. Uh, right, now we're on to the rums. Agricole view. Now, aged agricole, I kind of went for this. I kind of see, I kind of, <laughs> having tasted these, and you, you kind of might sort of work out where I'm making these in the actual cane juice journey that I'm on. I kind of think actually, the stronger, the 50 percenters are a little bit better in cocktails. Now I was trying to get rum JM, uh, the gold, 50 percent in this for the Martinique, but you know, I'm struggling to get that. I'm struggling to get any aged kind of gold, as they call it, um, 50 percent um, agricultural rums. So I've gone with St. James, 43 percent. This is what I'm going to use for this. 45 mil, one and a half ounces of that. Uh, and then it calls for Demo, <coughs> Demerara rum. 
I'm going to stick with this. I, I, as I see, I've fallen in love with this. I think this is superb. I think value for money wise, it's cheaper than El Dorado uh, five year old and El Dorado eight year old. I think it gives you more Demerara oomph, if you like, for uh, comparing it towards those. It's got, I'd say it's a tiny little bit sweeter, but I just think a bang for buck. I really, really love this. So 15 mil of Demerara rum. Hey, look. As I say, look, you guys in the US, Canada, you're very fortunate that you get El Dorado 12 year old very, very cheap. We don't. So this is why I kind of go this route, if you like. So uh, 15 mil, 15 mil, half an ounce of Demerara rum. And then uh, a dash, one dash, one dash, a dash, yeah, one dash of Angostura bitters. There we go. So uh, crushed ice and flash blend. And then I'm gonna use a, a glass for this, a tiki glass. I've seen this served in, I haven't really seen pictures of this served up in a tiki mug. It's always glasses like footed pilsners or something like that, even this sort of stemmed glass. So we're going for that. Just blend and dump. Top up with more crushed ice. And then the garnish, very important because the three dots and a dash, traditionally speaking, you would have had a little, little cube of pineapple on there. So three dots there uh, and the pineapple is the dash there. But actually I like what Martin Kate's done in Smuggler's Cove. They used the dash and that's quite a long dash as well uh, as the pineapple front. So there we have the three dots and a dash. And that is an absolutely stunning drink. I love that. The agricole works amazingly well in that. I get the lovely bit of Demerara, the skipper vibe coming through there. I get the pimento dram as well. Even though it's only seven and a half mil, I do kind of get those spice notes in there. I dare say sort of amped up by the Angostura bitters. That is the, I would not change that one single bit. I love the rum combination that I've used in there. I would like to try it with an amped up 50% ABV agricole, but this one, again, if you haven't made this 100%, I think you need to add that to your repertoire, but, Crucially, use that agricole, that Martinique rum.